What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 1 of my Let's Play of Late Shift. Late Shift is a live action decision based making game. Uh, I got pretty terrible reviews uh, and I originally downloaded it and tried to start it up and it didn't work. Um, couldn't move around anything, um, wouldn't let me press anything. I pressed new game and then it would crash the game. So let's get right into this. Hopefully it works. If it is, this is the first time I will be playing this. Looks like we got a loading screen guys. Control movie. I'm gonna try to be quiet during a lot of the cutscenes, let you guys hear it. These graphics are amazing. Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture, some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds. Too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. So I picked selfless there? Like it or not. Life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, and uh, this train. Random variables never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street? I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just through there. All right, so don't have a lot of time to make decisions on this game. Uh, just a few seconds, probably about four or five seconds. Um, I'm trying to just kind of make random decisions, not try to take, uh, not try to think about it too much, or make what I would, you know, decision that I would make in real life. Obviously, I would try to help that guy right there, probably. Right. There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we will do. So the intro looks pretty good so far. I mean, you know. Doesn't look like it's getting that bad of a didn't look like it should be getting as bad a rap as it has been. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> look at you, my beauty. You can be a for over a decade. What is he doing? They're just getting somebody else's car, I believe. Not really sure. Care for the way he's saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her? Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. Wow. You are your what decision. That's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Nice little Maserati. So he's a 
parking lot valet attendant slash security guard guy. I don't really know. Somewhere fancy and rich because there's a lot of nice cars coming in and out of here. Oh, what's that? We got somebody coming up. Oops, the woman from earlier. Forget something. Not exactly. Um, oh, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> an arsehole. <laughs> boyfriend's an arsehole. Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Light study. Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. What in the world is going on? To stop the rent, though. Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. So she really needs the it's keys, guys. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. That before two. Oh, uh, let's just go why. Let's go why. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Ooh. Fine. I won't. Ooh, <sighs> playing hardball right here. Okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in Maserati. That was rash. I was just a bet for. A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys. You know what? Let's do it. Fuck. Definitely not uh, what we should be doing. Probably gonna get fired for this. Because this girl is using that guy just to get his Maserati. Not a good plan. By either her or me. What? Oh, let's. let's oh, I heard something. Let's check it. Let's check what's going on. Uh, go to check. There's some guy right over there. Why would I go check and call somebody, dude? What? A oh my gosh. Look, no more fast cars tonight, alright? This is not good. What does he have, like a taser or something? Is that what that was? Oh no. Oh no. Turn around. Slowly. Uh oh. Now get over here. Drop it. Uh, I'm gonna get shot. Just drop it. Smart. Now get in the car. Get in the car? You crazy? I'm not really sure what this game is about, so... Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. Uh-oh. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. Should have just stayed. Should have just stayed. What am I doing? What am I thinking? Drive or run? Dude, let's just run, bro. Let's get out of here. I ain't doing this. What are the odds he shoots me? Look at that, he missed. Get back here. Nah, no, keep going. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Make a mad dash out of here. Since these guys are British, I gotta use my British accent every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now we're walking? No, 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 we gotta get out of here. Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. No, dude, that's sketch. No, I'm alright, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Yeah, I knew it. 
Just keep running, dude. Let's keep going. What is he in a car? I mean, what? Get in the fucking car. Oh, gosh. What is going on here? Well, they didn't have a choice there. So we gotta get in the car. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money, my family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Then why would you come after me? That doesn't make any sense. Just relax. Storyline does not make much sense to me. We just uh, tried to run away, got into a, guy, a random guy's car. Couldn't, couldn't, just run away. He, he blocked the street, but you just go around the car. Just run to the front of the car and keep running. What was he gonna do? Come on. Oh my goodness. Also, there were nobody. There was nobody out and about. I mean, I guess it's kind of late at night, but no police to see a guy just driving around with guns. So confused. Who's the baggage? His fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? What the heck? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh my goodness. Who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be alright. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant That's disgusting. and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. Need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get all of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Whoa, man. Let's just play I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me different oxygen and a couple of cable ties. Different oxygen? What the fuck is that? Yes, yeah, would have had headaches like you. Hold oh, still. Making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yep, certainly can. Looks like I just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Oh. Are you serious? What a, you what a smooth move. We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my car. Everybody seems really stressed. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. Let's play it cool, dude. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. That girl does not like me. I need to be the auction house before nine. Not this one. You're joking. We'll find you something. Oh, now that girl's being nice to me. Oh, man, this story just kind of hopped right into the action. Just. There's no build up of the story at all. There was no backstory. There was no. So any. What do I do next? Do I go along with this and then draw a turn him in? Do I keep my mouth shut? There's not really an option we have. I don't give all you just, you know, go away to the bathroom or something and tell somebody what's going on. Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the 
But they probably have the game, uh, the, ca what happened in the parking garage on camera. Need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of the family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. Let's just let just tell us uh, the plan to the valet guy here. That's a good idea. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Okay, now we're in on the operation, totally full blown. We're just a thief. That doesn't look suspicious at all. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. So for 950,000 pounds. 950,000 pounds. Marvel's pounds. 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is. Just try to keep your powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking? We're gonna to blow me. our cover. So we come to what I feel is more on the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trapp. Katie. This is probably the uh, item that we're looking for. I like how the first person used gloves to pick up the box, but she doesn't have gloves have to, actually to actually pick it up. Is an absolutely Exquisite example. She's gonna drop that thing. Of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces. Remaining yes. examples okay, great. Of the red the phoenix time. pattern known to be in existence. Good code words there. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much. Well, oh yeah, okay. So he's gonna use gloves. A truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is Far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, we can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. This guy Sebastian. studying. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking All of a sudden, he's three. a crime Coming master, doesn't Thank care you, about sir. anything. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, Richard, on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Alright. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? We're intervening here. Nine I'm looking. For. Price increases on a logarithmic. All around the room. Zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you. Very the much. chance of getting away with another nine business. Million. Do I hear 9-5? Fair warning. Wow. I'm selling. 9 million once. Wow. Nine if you wouldn't have went to like two college classes, so we would have be we would have to buy that right there. Thank you very much. 
That that was that was incredible. Twenty three percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. Huh. Let's draw as much attention to us as we can. Good but night. What does it tell on mathematics, you know? Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? Oh, the basement. A little lag Jeff there. That's nice. The from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along? Alright guys, that's going to end it for episode 1 of the Late Shift walkthrough. We're just over 20 minutes in. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the game, um, leave a like on this video. Hit down the comments and subscribe. See you guys in episode 2.